everyone. Um, welcome to my new subscribers and thank you to my old subscribers. Um, everyone, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, so today I'll be doing a hair regimen video. So excuse me while I pre -poo. Um My hair regimen is so very simple. It is nothing complicated. I love simplicity and I hate washing my hair. So um, I alternate between co-washing and shampoo and conditioning. On the days that I shampoo and condition, um, I'll do a pre-poo. Um, sometimes I do a pre-poo on the days that I co-wash, but I don't do them all the time. Um, so some of the products that I use are shampoo, Cantu Cream Shampoo. And this is so good. It's creamy. It's a creamy shampoo, and it goes on and lathers well. Um, I use Motions Conditioning Shampoo. Dollar Tree had this on sale for $1.00. Um, and I got about six bottles because at the beauty supply store it's like four dollars, three, four dollars, and this was a great deal. Um, so I do use that as well. I use my fat hair. Um, this was a contest win and it's clear. It's a clear shampoo. I've never seen a clear shampoo. It's a hundred percent vegan and it goes on and lathers as well and it's a great shampoo. So those are the shampoos that I use on the, the weeks that I shampoo and condition. Um, for my conditioners, I use Herbal Essence. This is the Hello Hydration. Th these are really good. They're creamy and they lather well. They go on very well. They keep my hair very soft. I use Veil 5 Moisture Milks. And I have like every flavor, scent, whatever you call it, I have all of them. Or just regular VO5, just anything. I love the VO5 line. They're cheap and they're great. Um, I use my cholesterol, my Lee Care Leave It, my Lee Care Cholesterol Plus. And I use this maybe once a month or once every month and a half. Um, when I do my pre pooing the oils that I use, I use um, my castor oil. And this is great for thickening. I use my tea tree oil, and that's good for cleaning your scalp. And I use my um, aloe vera gel, juice I mean. I use my vegetable glycerin. This is really good too. I use um, jojoba oil and sweet orange oil. And these are, there are so many oils out there. And I use coconut oil as well. And this coconut oil, this is one of my staples. The coconut oil... It makes your hair shiny and it keeps your hair moisturized, your scalp moisturized. And um, for leave-ins, I use my leave-in shea butter. I think I've shown this a few times on videos. And I'll spray some of the um, Motions Leave-In Conditioner in as well. And then that's what I do for my leave-ins. And I also do, um, I alternate when I moisturize my scalp, I do... Coconut oil, maybe five days a week, and then maybe two two days a week. I think I do my um, castor oil. I do my castor oil mix two days a week. And let me tell you about this little gadget here. This is originally used to do hair color when you do your hair coloring, but I put oil in it. I found out about this from Tracy from Kiss. She did a blog on it, and it was three. I think it was like three ninety four at Walmart. And I had to get it. It has these little combs on it in which the oil or whatever you're using comes out of and you put it on your scalp and just put the oil in and literally 30 seconds my whole scalp is moisturized OMG you have to get one of these um, when I do my braid outs I use my um, aloe vera vegetable glycerin and sweet orange oil mix and I do put maybe two or three drops of tea tree oil in here and this keeps your scalp moisturized as well and I do home remedies. I love home remedies. So every now and then I'll throw a home remedy in there and, you know, I try to share with my YouTube family. So if you have anything that's worked for you, let me know and I'd love to try it. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about my regimen, just let me know. Uh, leave me a message and I'll get right back to you. But again, I thank everyone for tuning in and watching my videos and asking questions and leaving great comments. So you guys are the best. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.